Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're going to go over my new motorcycle, the 2005 TW200. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. Just a friendly reminder, only a couple more days left in September for you to enter in to win a $100 Amazon gift card. All you need to do is leave comments on my videos in September, subscribe and hit the thumbs up and you are automatically entered. So don't miss out. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have known I picked up this bike a couple months ago. And I picked it up because they're not really easy to find around my area for a great price. So when I saw it, I decided to get it, but today is the first day I'm doing a video. Now let's go over what the TW200 is. But firstly, the TW200 is also referred to by a couple of different names. For example, the T-Dub, the farm bike, or even the two-wheel ATV. So the bike's engine is 196 cc's, single cylinder, four stroke, pushing out a whopping 16 horsepower. It is air cooled chain driven and has a five speed transmission and the tire sizes are crazy the fronts are 130 by 80 by 18 and the rears are 180 by 80 by 14. they are massive the bike is relatively light at 260 pounds that's lighter than me unfortunately or fortunately however you're looking at it it holds 1.8 gallons of gas and it has a payload of a little over 350 pounds a benefit for me now let's go over why I bought this bike. Well firstly, the first time I saw this bike I thought it was the ugliest bike possible. But with age also comes appreciation when realizing this machine is not your regular bike. It is a purpose built machine. As I mentioned earlier it is called a farm bike because really it is a piece of machinery. This can go through mud, rocks, boulders, whatever. With these big meat, beefy tires, it really helps out around the farm. Now, I don't have a farm, so why did I buy this bike? Well, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know I am just starting my new project builds. I have four project builds. I have a Jeep Gladiator that I'm going to be decking out for overlanding. I have a Ford Expedition that I'm going to be doing the same. And then I also bought a 23 foot camper that I'm going to be decking out for off the grid off road camping. Now, if I get stuck with either the Gladiator towing the camper or the Expedition, I do have winches and stuff, but I also will be in the middle of nowhere where I need somehow to go find help if I have no service. So I decided I'm going to build this out and keep it on the back of my RV as an emergency vehicle if I've, uh, if I've run out of options and I have nowhere else to go. So when I was researching doing this whole lifestyle change, uh, the first bike that came to mind was actually the TW. Now in my mind, the TW became attractive because of this thing can go through anywhere. I'm not taking it on the highway. It's purely going to be going places where it's going to be difficult to drive. I'm also planning on doing a lot of winter RV and camping and off the roading. So with these tires, it will be great to handle in the snow as well. Now that being said, there are a couple things that need to upgrade on the bike. It is a 2005, so general maintenance needs to be done. Oil change, air filter change, and so on. But being a heavy guy, I need to increase the front springs, the rear spring. I'm going to update the headlights, put some ditch lights on here, and then I'm going to put a nice carry rack on the back. On top of that, it needs a new chain, sprockets, and so on. So this video is just all introducing my TW200 or my T-Dub and why I purchased it. The next couple videos are me actually going to be doing all of those things. So make sure if you're looking forward to see a build, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these videos because I'm sure if you're looking to upgrade, these videos will come in handy. So guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Until next time, I'll see you then.